In this video, I will show you how to edit an image. When I say edit an image, I don't mean that we're going to be adding people that weren't there in the picture to begin with. I mean that we are going to be adding a layer of text on top of the image that already exists. For this project, you will need your company information spreadsheet and you will also need at least one image, if not multiple. Uh, we typically recommend that you only put text on maybe one out of every ten images, maybe two. You don't want to over-optimize the content that you are uploading to the internet, so the less text that you have on images, the less obvi it, obvious it is to search engines that you are trying to optimize yourself. So um, without further ado, I will just jump right in here. The website that we're going to be using is called Splash Up. Com. Um, this is just a free service here that you can use. You are certainly more than welcome to use Photoshop or any other photo editing tool that you might have. Um, but like I said, this is just a free um, offering, so I will show you how to use this. Um, I went ahead, if you didn't see that, I just clicked on jump right in. Um, I don't. You don't need to sign in or sign up for an account if you don't want to. Um, so this is the screen that we are going to be working on here. I typically just widen it out so you have a little bit more space. Um, and then you can go ahead and click File, Open Image, Browse, and this will bring you to where you need to um, find your image. So I'm going to go ahead and find one that I want to use. Any of these will be fine, so we'll just take one. If your image is really small, what you can do here is click on image, and then you could try adjusting the image size. This typically um, messes around with the pixels, however, and will distort your image. So what I typically do is just add canvas size, or I add canvas to the picture. So um, you can decide for yourself whether or not you want to make the image taller or wider. Um, since there's a little bit of white space on the edge anyway, I'm just going to go ahead. You can use the slider here to adjust the width or height of your picture. I'm just going to go ahead and type it in, and I'm going to bump this up to 450 and see what that looks like. So I'm just going to click OK. And then you have to drag out your screen a little bit here. Um, so this just added extra canvas to the side without actually changing your image. So the next thing you can do, this might not still, still might not be wide enough, but that's okay, we'll fix that. Um, you can paint, or you can use this paint bucket here. If you click on that, over here you can change the color that you are painting with here. So it's already on white, I'm just going to go ahead and click that. And then you can see that it just filled that in with white space. Um, I would probably make this image a little bit larger if this were a real project, but for this case I'm just going to keep moving along. Um, the next thing that you want to do here is click the letter icon here. And then you can just click anywhere on the screen. I will caution you that if you click elsewhere on the screen, it will continue to make new text boxes. Um, and over here you can see all of the items that you have open. Um, if you ever do accidentally create a new text box, like I just did, you can just simply highlight the item that you want to delete and then click this minus button and it will remove that. Um, so go ahead and click inside of the text box again and then you can start typing. And what you're going to do is go to your company information spreadsheet and then just copy your company information. You could um, just simply type it in if you obviously know your business information well enough so I'm just gonna paste that in and as you can see the text automatically came up white so I'm gonna highlight all of my text and then change this text color up here to black so that it shows up on the background and then other settings up here you can also change there's um, the typical bold italic and underline so I'm gonna go ahead and make this text bold and then I'm also going to change the size of the text up to 18. If you want to change the style of the font, you're welcome to do that as well. Um, if you would like to move your text, um, as you can see this text is off of the image right now, uh, you can't click outside of the text box, so remember that you have to click this arrow up here, and then you can move the text. If, for example, let's say that your picture was off-center, you can then 
go ahead and click or highlight your picture item here and then you can move your picture around. I'll put that back to normal here. If you want to switch back to the text, go ahead and click on the text and then let's say that you want to edit the text, you need to go back to your button, your text button here and then click inside of the box. So what we typically recommend for a bannered photograph, as we call them, um, is the company name, phone number, and address. And um, if you have an email address, that would be a good way to contact um, your business. That would be a good idea, too. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this fake address here and then just paste that in. Oop. And then can go ahead and grab all of this. It helps if you have it all in one line anyway, but I don't, so I'm just going to go ahead and type this in to make this go a little bit quicker. Um, so let's just say that that's your address, and then I'm going to skip down a couple lines and then put your phone number and your, at, um, your website. I should have said that 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 was a good idea. So let's just say it's www.companyname.com. So if you hit control A, that will select all of your text. Then you can make sure that it's all bolded and all the same size as well. Again, if I want to um, move the text, you can click the arrow. So you can move it this way. I'm going to go back and edit the text. So I click the letter A, and then I'm going to hit center it. Um, your page alignment here. So, and then I'm going to go back to the arrow to move the text. And as you can see, some of it is still cut off. So, um, this picture is a little bit complicated because if I were to add more white space to the top, then his head would be awkwardly cut off. So, you might need to play around with this. It might just become a really long or a really wide image. Um, you know, it's really up to you how you want it to look visually. Um, but like I said, the company name, address, phone number, and website are the most important pieces of information that you want to have on there because Google can actually read the text on your images. So, you know, they can't look at a picture and know that this is a person suffering from depression. But if you were to put your company name and phone number on here, maybe if you have enough space, even throw in um, a keyword or two, you know, such as, are you suffering from depression? Get help today and then you can put your company information on there so that would be a really great way to let Google know that this image is about depression and you want to share images to help um, customers get to know your business